Oh boy. This is rough. This is rough indeed. So Scott, have and you I ever think... seen a beating like this being thrust upon a team? You know, Mark, I, I'd have to go back to the beating of 1913, which was an old uh, Taco Bell regional <laughs> invitational <laughs> that happened on the badminton court in, uh, in South Sudan. <laughs> uh, many people don't realize <laughs> that Taco Bell has been around since 1913, and badminton being the official, board <laughs> official sport <laughs> of South Sudan. Uh, and that was absolutely a massacre. Basically, a U.S. team flew over there and just beat the living dick out of these poor Sudanese um, badminton players. And my God, obviously it was sponsored by Taco Bell. It became a huge controversy, if I uh, if I do recall. And uh, but yeah, that was a horrible beating. And basically, uh, it got so bad that people couldn't even watch anymore. And uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, sorry, I don't mean to laugh. I, looking back retrospectively on it. It is a terrible thing. No, but, no, I, but but it's it's one of those time old things where tragedy plus time equals comedy. So it's, abso it's absolutely, okay to laugh at it now. absolutely. Yeah, R.I.P. Those poor little Sudanese souls. <laughs> R.I.P. But you know what? Sometimes badminton badminton is a vicious sport. And you know what? Even when you're sponsored by Taco Bell, I remember the medics running out onto the field as the poor Sudanese children lay there, and as they poured Baja Blast <laughs> into the child's mouth, even that could not revive. <laughs> they could not revive the Sudanese children who had just been beaten to a pulp by the other badminton players. <laughs> and, and Mountain Dew has always been a long-standing product <laughs> used to, to revive kids totally. who have been knocked unconscious during a badminton. It's one of those products that's just a total shock to the system. If you can't be revived from Baja Blast, there's nothing that can revive you. And as we watch the parched lips of those poor, poor Sudanese badminton players be quenched, we thought at first by Baja Blast and then by Mountain Dew, and nothing worked. We we sat there in wonder and also in astonishment as the, they were carted off the field. And, uh, yep, they were buried, RIP 1913. But no one can forget. No one can forget that horrible day. <laughs> so, anyway, to answer your question, Mark, that was the last time I saw a beating this bad. So you can imagine <laughs> it's a little shocking. It's a little shocking.